Well, I finally had the time to make this video for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. It came with a lot of popular requests. Here are some of my favorite techniques to do with an Uchikomi band. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I have a couple of special techniques just to help you build your strength and your power for judo. Now, without any more waiting, let's get into these techniques. So let's take a look at technique number one, just doing a basic pull. So here we are for technique number one, a basic pull. I have my band connected to the wall and they're fairly even. All I'm gonna do is practice staggering my stance. And what I wanna focus on is my core rotating. So I'm gonna try to keep my hips facing the front as best as possible. There'll be a slight rotation, what I want to do is focus on my shoulders moving rather than my hip breaking. So while we're in this position, I'm just going to practice my pull. Bend at the knees and pull down a little to explode up. And then right from here, we're going to turn our chest. Okay. Notice that my hands aren't pulling past my face. Down, up, and then rotate from the chest. Making sure that we stay upright as much as possible. You should feel that burn all through here and on this side and again in the front. Okay, so we're here. Get those feet nice and set. Hands nice and set with our good judo grip, relaxed grip. Down, up, rotate. Making sure everything stays in nice and tight. Now, a couple of things you want to be careful of is your hip breaking to the side. What that looks like is when you pull up, you tend to bend to get this to pull where you're leaning into it, and then you're just hipping into the action. You're not actively turning your muscle on and getting that strength throughout your core. Let's take a look at technique number two, a three-step uchikomi for a seinagi. So let's take a look at a three-step Uchikomi for a seinagi. I have my band again attached to the wall here and everything is nice and even. I have a little bit of play, okay? I don't want this to be loose. I want there to be a little bit of tension. So look, I get a little bounce, okay? If I pull, it'll naturally create a bounce and a rhythm. And what we wanna do is we wanna work with that rhythm, okay? As I'm here, I'm standing square. I'm gonna step in and up and up. Once I do that, I hit my rotation and then I focus on pulling and turning and then coming around, okay? I don't wanna just rotate. I wanna actively make sure I'm pulling and I'm using my core and my stability in my shoulders and my body to hit a really strong rotation. That's what the band's gonna help us with. And then it'll slingshot us back around so that we can start our second rep. So a little bit faster, we're going one, Two, I'm sinking into this position, focusing on that turn, coming back out, down, rotate. Big pull up, nice and tall, nice and tall, down and into that throw, okay? Really making sure that core gets activated. Do a couple of reps here. Now, let's take a look at a couple of troubleshooting areas here where I have my grip. What we really want to try to avoid is getting pulled back, okay? I want to make sure I have my core where I take my ribs and I bring them to my hips and I shorten them, okay? And I'm getting that strength throughout my core on my pull. I don't want to leave my chest opened and back and then pull with my arms from the front. I want the pull to happen from my body, curling in to that position, okay? So while we're here, don't stay back and arc into this and then come through. We wanna make sure that once we pull and we come through, you can see I'm already starting that curl forward and then using my body to twist and hit that pull, okay? Don't stay open too late and get pulled back. If you feel like you're getting pulled back even the slightest bit, just move in a couple of inches or a foot to release some of the tension here on the band and it'll make the technique a little bit easier. As you get stronger and stronger, you'll be able to back up and get more and more tension on your band. If you're starting 
with a band that is too strong already because it's all you have at home. Don't worry about it. You can start with it a little bit loose. It's not ideal, but again, if it's what you have, make do with it. Let's take a look at Uchikomi number three for Uchimata. Let's take a look at how we can use the band to perfect our Uchimata. Now, while we're doing this, the big thing the band is doing is providing consistent resistance and the resistance is getting stronger as we get through the technique, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on building our stability and our balance for Uchimata because that tends to be where everybody struggles. So here I am with my band and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go right back to that beginning where we're downward pulling to upward lift, okay? As I do that, I take my first step. Big pull, big lift. Now the big thing here for Uchimata when I take my back step, I actually want my transition to happen. Okay, where my leg's not swinging up really high, it's just enough so that I have to balance here and my leg is straight and my hip bone is still facing forward. I don't wanna open up my hip here. I wanna keep it closed off, okay? Now, the other thing we wanna focus on is our hand position. What a lot of people do and what I see a lot online is the closing of the hands. Uchimata, the bigger your pull, the bigger your throw. So what we want to focus on right here is actually my hands traveling in a forward direction, not in a round direction. I want to go forward with it. Okay, really focus on driving my pinky out as far as I can with the band while my hand elevates above my head. Okay, don't let this hand collapse in here. Make sure it's always lifting through that pointer finger up, 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 and up the entire time, okay? Up, up, balance, an extension, and up above the head for your pull. Back through, big extension, big pull. Making sure I can hit my transition every time. And I'm making sure that I'm hitting one, two, three on all of my steps, okay? Really using the band to get that core and our hip and our knee, all those muscles are firing at the same time. Now, let's take a look at technique number four, how we can use the band to better our foot sweeps. So let's take a look at how we can use the band to better our foot sweeps, okay? Now, this is a really fun one to do and I've used it a lot just in my cutting weight drills and my warm up drills. What we wanna do to start is we wanna cut the band almost in half on our collar side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna loop it over so I have a little bit of extra play here and it's like I'm fighting for real, okay? My hand is inside and I'm here on the sleeve. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna transfer pushing off my foot and jumping where I can transfer my weight. There's a little bit of a hop step here so that I can sweep, okay? And what I wanna do is I wanna pull and lock this in as if I'm gonna drive underneath the chin to finish my kochi, okay? Up, and this elbow tucks in, which is why it's shorter, because it's pulling a little bit less. So when I'm in this position, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna load it, and I'm gonna push off this leg. Boom, and I pull across. Boom. Pull. Okay, the pull here isn't with my bicep, it's with my shoulder, I'm pulling in, so I can drive through my partner's chin to finish the attack, okay? Don't mistake your bicep for your ability to roll your shoulder and be able to pull, okay? A couple more reps here. Load it, extension, pull across. Notice that I'm looking at that watch every time as I pull in. My eyes are halfway because I'm gonna be changing direction, okay? I'm working on my head positioning as well as we do this technique. Okay, bonus tip number one. So one of the bonus tips I have for you guys today is just a little bit of strength exercise to teach you how to use your shoulders and your chest to get the most out of the band and out of your judo techniques. So here I am with the band and what I wanna do is I wanna back up so it's nice and comfortable. I'm gonna get my high pull up and in order, and I'm gonna practice rolling my shoulders, creating the biggest circles I possibly can, as slow and steady as we can. I'm gonna use the band resistance. If it's too light, take a couple steps back 
and allow your shoulders to get pulled all the way forward. Round that upper part of your back here, okay? And then big lift and shrug, back, back, back without bending, okay? Make sure we're just using those shoulders. Roll them in nice and down, and then back in the other direction. Up, 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 down, 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 down. And then just work ourselves through that position as best we can with controlled tempo. The slower, the better. Bonus tip number two. So let's take a look at our second bonus tip here, which again is a strength exercise for you to be able to use your shoulder. And what we're gonna work on again is just teaching our body how to use that shoulder to strengthen our judo so that we can use our muscles independently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the band somewhere around the middle, okay? And I have both strands here, okay? If you have a really strong band, just use one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stagger my stance and then I'm gonna pull with just my shoulder, teaching it how to roll all the way out and then roll all the way in without moving my body, right? I'm not bending and pulling, okay? I'm staying up and I'm relaxing. I'll even take a step back. I'm relaxing and letting it pull all the way out. I'm keeping my hip forward and then pulling with it all the way out, all the way in. And you can even hold this for a couple of seconds and then slowly let it out and twist and then bring it back in all the way without any motion throughout the rest of your body. So there you have it guys. Those are some of my favorite exercises to do with the band. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you liked it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification. Okay, I try to release five technique videos a day for all of us to learn. And if you guys are looking for any more techniques or more in-depth instructionals, make sure you guys check out judofanatics.com and use the code TRAVIS15 to save at checkout.